Well, Connor, I can tell how disappointed you are. It was a real tough night for the team tonight. Yeah, it's tough. It's I don't know, coming here with 11 men, never mind 10, but I don't know about the sending off. I don't know what it, what it looked like to me. It looked all right, but I don't know what it was like on the telly. And I thought the penalty was soft as well. But like I said, it's hard enough coming with 11 men, never mind 10. So it was a tough night all around. And conceding early put you in a difficult position as well, didn't it? Yeah, they're a top quality side. And ref the gap's too big, I think. The pass through for, for Sane was, was top draw. And then his cross is he's on a button for Jesus. So we've got to learn from it, as simple as that. But, but like I said, to, to go down early was, was disappointing from our point of view. But then the game got really tough then. What was said at half time? Was it a case of giving yourselves a chance, but also making sure that they didn't run riot? Again? I think trying to trying to give Adama a chance on the break, bringing Adama on was was something that we wanted to do in terms of the pace and things like that. Something the manager wanted to do, so that was part of it. But trying to keep them in front of us as much as we possibly can, because the minute they get behind us, they usually finish off the chances. So, so like I said, it was a tough night all around. But I thought the boys dug in. To be honest, if they score for cross off the last one. That's what goes through when you sit in top of the league or wherever they are. So we've got to dust ourselves down and go again. No. Is that yeah? Is there something you can take from that? That you know, look, look at the goals they've scored in recent matches, and yet you, you say you dug in, you battled hard in that second half, and you've only lost it by three. Yeah, we had to battle. Like we were saying at two nil at half time. We don't concede anymore, and then we concede off a cross, which is which is disappointing. But I said that this is always going to be a tough game coming here with eleven men, never mind ten. So we've got a big game next week. Now we'll dust ourselves down this week and, and make sure we're ready and trying to get up the memory. And potentially for the first time in a long time, you'll have to have a little rejig in the back three. Yeah, I know. It, like, like I didn't see much of the red cards, so I don't really know much too much of it. Obviously, you'll know more from seeing it on the telly. But yeah, it's disappointing. Bolly's been been a big man mountain for us this year, but we've got to get this out of our memory quick and get going for next week. Can you just have a, a quick word for the fans at the end there? Because Man City fans were pouring towards the exits, and all you could hear was Wolves supporters singing loud and proud. Oh, they're amazing. They're amazing. It's the same every week. We we know what we're going to get from them. We know they're they're a thousand percent behind us. It's it's as simple as that. We know that they'll out sing anybody home away. We know what they're going to do. So it's an incredible support we've got. We know we can back them and they, they'll back us to the hill and we'll always count on them.